Am I Jim? I thought he was Jim. No, that's Bill. Where's Bill? Your Bill. Oh, that's right. You may as well enter as we sort this all out. Let's hope you're better than the last one. Oh, and watch out for our brother down there. He's a bit odd. That was unexpected. Okay, so... Let's continue onward here. And read some of the things. Where did I go? Am I short all of a sudden? Why can't I reach these? What happened? Okay, back to normal. Bob, I told you to fix this elevator weeks ago. It takes hours for everyone to get here because of your stupid experiment, moron. Cordially, Ted. <laughs> I am so excited to keep playing this game. Welcome back to a little bit of maze, everybody. This game is going to be amazing based off of what we were able to tell from the first episode. What does this one say? Hi, Ted. Don't worry about it. I'll reset the elevator after a few more months of, few more months of data. We overbought on food pellets, and now we have to get rid of this- get rid of them somehow. Bob. Bob has very girly handwriting. <laughs> well, what are we doing here, huh? The buttons don't do anything. I think we're just gonna wait in the elevator for a while. I don't know if we're gonna start talking to the corn more. <laughs> or the maze, or whatever you want to call it. But we do know that there is talking corn here. It'll be interesting to see- their personalities come into full effect. How long are we gonna be waiting? I'm stalling, video game! <laughs> Humdy diddly dum. Am I doing something wrong? I don't think I'm doing anything wrong. I think it just takes a long time. Quit chirping at me! Oh. Oh. But, I tried and it wouldn't let me do that before. Well, I pressed the button. What about this? I gotta- oh. Oh, are you going all Pavlov on me? Do I need to keep pressing the button? and then getting a stale food pellet over and over again? Is that what's going on here? Am I a little lab rat? Is that what this is? Let me out of here! God damn it. I'm a lab rat. That's why I couldn't touch before. I was waiting for the lab rat thing to happen. Oh my god, fine. <laughs> Welcome to Maze, everybody. Oh, hi. You're the guy with the... You're made of oak, right? And you got the big belly and the flat butt? Let's read some more notes. My god, Bob, what is this? Did you actually have the... The music. Did you actually have the gall to commission a bronze statue of yourself? Oh, so this is Bob. Okay. It'll cost you a fortune, cordially, Ted. You narcissistic dolt. <laughs> hi, Ted, don't worry. I got a good deal on it. Commission these statues in bulk. <laughs> I think they really spruce up the facility, especially for the tour. Could be a big money maker for us, Bob. Oh God, Bob, you are so very stupid. What about the term classified? Don't you understand? We can't host <laughs> any tours. You moron, cordially, Ted. And I don't think I didn't notice the one near the farmhouse. Repeat, classified. Put it away, idiot. Cordially, Ted. <laughs> this is Bob, huh? Bob McTavish, huh? Got a whole bunch of things at the end of his name that make him seem important. And this is Ted. <laughs> Co-founder. Hi, Ted. So we saw a picture of Ted earlier, except he kind of looked like a lady, right? I thought he had cleavage. What is this? Some sort of circuit board that doesn't work anymore. Okie dokie. Well, we're in the facility of something. The corn let us in here. So usually when that happens, that's when I make my way back towards Bob. You know, when he- when he just- Nah. Nah, I deal with that. Nah, I don't need to- mm -mm. Nah. Sup, Bob? That was a very, very much so a sup, Bob moment. I'd rather hang out with Bob. Sup, Bob? <laughs> oh! Well. You appear to be in a hurry. Okay, well, let's go read some- What the- I totally saw notes here. Where'd they go? Was- Oh, oh, they're right here. Hi, notes. Bob, you dummy! There are thousands of water tanks here! Do you realize how much feeding these fish will cost? <laughs> Hiya, Ted! <laughs> the fish shipment should be arriving today! Could you be a pal and put them in the tanks for me? Thanks. <laughs> oh my god, I'm loving the relationship between Bob and Ted already. Well! Let's keep moving onward here. And, uh, you know... 
find some more creatures. An extremely obvious fake panel. <laughs> I love the explanations that they have on the items. I love the names of the things they have in the environment. This game is loaded with humor. It is great. I love it. I love it. I love it. And we're just exploring the facility here, huh? I got a dumbbell. I did the folio. Try as you might, you are unable to lift this more than two times in quick succession. And yet somehow you continue to carry it wherever you go. And it's a five pound dumbbell. Okay. Wow, I'm strong and dumb. I mean, weak and dumb. Like, based on everything that I've been reading about my character, I am useless. Maybe I'm Bob. <laughs> I got a sweaty headband, though. Hmm. And these boxes are most definitely blocking something. What else we got in here? A nondescript rock. A run-of-the-mill rock with no defining features whatsoever to discern it from the billions of other rocks currently in existence. Its name is Mabel. <laughs> so we got Mabel and Chauncey. Aww. Okay. So, let me read my item I have here, huh? The sweaty headband imbues the wearer with the ability to walk at a slightly brisker, brisker, slightly brisker pace than normal for short periods of time. It's not worth the risk. Okay, so can I like... Am I moving faster when I'm wearing this? I don't even know. The triumphant test report. Hmm, the only way this report could sound more triumphant is if trumpets were blared every time it was read. <laughs> Explains the very promising results after examining one of the new sentient corn stalks, a breed of the Ruby Queen corn that shows high levels of intelligence. It also glosses over the fact that the specimen is somehow female, which apparently is impossible under the, the, the under the genetic protocol the facility used to create them. So somehow we got a girly corn, huh? Okay. Well, girly corn's cool, I guess. I need to keep looking around at being very ever so vigilant. Because you never know if you miss something, and then I walk around for a half hour trying to figure out what I missed. But I found a headband. That's like the only item that I'll be able to use that I have found. Unless there's something else hanging out around here. So let's go back on over this way. And keep exploring the facility that we've stumped the pot into. Hey, it's a playroom. It's probably where Bob hangs out. <laughs> Seems like Bob's, Bob's little pad, man. This is a little man cave right here. What is this? Skill one. How did I do? Skill two. Following directions. Crappenship. What are these skills? Falls below average and excellent. Interesting. Huh. We are gonna have a ball. We got a bunch of names down here. I wonder if the corn came down here. Be ready for a great year. Yeah. Look at all this. Hmm. I wouldn't be surprised if they tried teaching corn things down here. You know what I mean? This was a little. A little classroom for the corn. Oh, hi, Teddy. Oh, wow. I have a teddy bear. And I got a children's block. Well, let's read the teddy bear, I guess. A Soviet knockoff <laughs> of a famous American teddy bear, which says a variety of friendly Russian sayings. When powered up, his name is Vladdy, according to the tag. He looks grumpy. Oh, God, I'm pretty sure Vladdy's going to come to life. <laughs> I got a feeling Vladdy is going to give us a good time. A nondescript children's block adorned with letters and numbers. You spend a long time trying to figure out which is which. Eventually you sort it out, but the number five still fools you every now and then. <laughs> why am I so dumb? Like, why is that a recurring theme? How stupid I am. Okay, well, let's see if I can go through my items. The sweaty headband's not gonna work, and I don't think the English muffin would work either. So let's go back this way again. I don't want to miss anything as I'm walking by, because there is a big chance that there's something hiding. On the sides here. Oh god, Bob scared me. I looked over there. I was like, Bob, what is that? I almost had a no Bob moment because of Bob. Or sup Bob. Yeah, that was my moment. A sup Bob moment. It's over here, huh? Ooh, all sorts of cool stuff. So I can I can put a teddy here, can't I? Well, let me shove my bear here, and I can put a whole bunch of stuff on the teddy bear. We're definitely gonna wake up the teddy bear. Okay, what's over here, huh? I got an old computer. Can I shove it on here? No. What is this? Bob, you disgusting slob! Don't you know how to read? Stop eating here, you glutton! <laughs> Damn it. I'm, I'm waiting for the hiya, Bob! <laughs> or the hiya, Ted! <laughs> what is this? Bob, you jerk! Put my ram back where it was! I know how you took it and hid it in that stupid spot of yours. Bring it back here. Ooh, stupid spot. So I gotta find a stupid spot, huh? What is this? A guidebook and all so- Oh my god, there's so many of these to read. I can put the old computer here. No? I cannot put that there. Wow, it looks a lot like it. Okay, what is this? 
Bob, stop playing your stupid games on my computer and screwing around with my AI experiments, you idiot. <laughs> okay. Ooh, what is this? The Gripotron. I could definitely put the Gripotron over here, no? Yes! Okay, we got the Gripotron there. Man, I, I wish I would have read the Gripotron now. I oh man, I should have read the Gripotron. Oh, it would have been funny. Okay, I gotta read these items before I before I put them away. So I know I gotta read a bunch of those too. Let's let's take a look at my items I got here. And what is this? What does this say? As its name suggests, this computer is old. <laughs> you get a sense you could use it could use an upgrade. And then you spend several moments trying to figure out what the word upgrade means. Why are we so dumb? Oh my god. Hiya, Ted! The latest brochure came back from the press. Take a look. It'll really boost the tour. And you'll be happy to know that the most sensitive bits have been redacted. Safety first. <laughs> Bob, first, you are an idiot. <laughs> that brochure is incredibly stupid. Second, for the last time, no tours! Third, if you're going to make this stupid brochure, at least add my name to it. We're co-research heads. Remember as, you know, the same title, jerk. <laughs> Cordially, Ted. Hi, Ted. Really sorry, but the final part has been done and sent off. I'll make doubly sure the next one has your name on it underneath my name in the front. Bob. Good God, Bob! <laughs> Good God, Bob! Just say that over and over. It'll make you happy. Trust me. <laughs> Do you have the reading comprehension of a five-year-old? This is a top-secret facility. Where did you send those brochures, you moron? Cordially, Ted. <laughs> so you have the old computer. It could use an upgrade, that's about all I know. And something is in a spot somewhere that we need to go find. I think we have- uh oh, what's this? What is this? We crouch down here. Oh, I turned on the power strip. Oh! Now can I put this here? Now I can put this here. Okay. What do I do? Can't read what it says, can't type on it. But we've made a little bit of progress right there. Okay. Anything else worthwhile in here? I think we're golden. We gotta turn on the teddy somehow, right? Man, I wish I'd read the Gripatron. Somebody tell me what the Gripatron says. I would love to know. Okay, well, I'm feeling pretty satisfied with this area here. So, let's go this way, I guess. Well, oh, no. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> oh, no. I hate it. I hate that they're looking at me. Oh, God, you see him up there? Oh, don't look at me. Why am I in, like, an aquarium? I feel like I'm in an aquarium, but I'm not in an aquarium. Weird. Okay, is there anything left around down in here? More of Bob being a slob. And if Bob's being a slob, maybe he left something over that way, right? That makes sense. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Bob! Ted! Hey, you Ted! <laughs> Notice that you took down the painting in the lobby. Thanks, I had a little blemish on it. No sweat, though. Here's another one. Be a pal, and would you put it up, please? <laughs> Bob, I'm not putting up another one of your paintings, you self-indulgent loose. <laughs> louse. Self-indulgent louse. For God's sake, how many did you order? Cordially, Ted. And why is my face on that stupid horse? Cordially, Ted. <laughs> How can you not love this game, huh? You don't have a soul if you're not if you're not in love with this game, okay? Hey, a cheeseburger wrapper. Okay, let's read some of the folio items. Originated from a local fast food restaurant, the nutritional information on the wrapper proudly proclaims now 100% salmonella free. Now? There are, no exaggeration, thousands of these little wrappers littering the facility. But a very fetching mustard stain on this particular one Spark you to pick it up. <laughs> okay. And here's the tour book. <laughs> the official guidebook for a tour of the research facility. A large portion of the text inside has been redacted, but 20 pages are fully dedicated to giant vats. And mostly repeat the refrain that the vats are very large and contain things that should stay in very large vats. Okay. <laughs> Let's go over here. I think Bob's leading us somewhere, man. Ooh. Man, there's so much going on in here! Alright, what else we got here? Got some trash, latex gloves, creepy painting, a very purple lamp. Very, very purple lamp. It's over here, huh? Got another computer. Hey, it's Chairpoint! How you doing, buddy? You don't have any names on you, though. Here we go! A military backpack. What's in here? A drawer. And we got a small screwdriver. We're getting the items that we need. Perfect. I think these two items might actually, uh... 
be what we needed for Teddy. Bob, you disgusting slob! I love how so many of these are rhyming. <laughs> Until you've cleaned up after yourself, I am blocking your entrance into the bathroom. What? I'm tired of calling in the hazmat team every week, you moron. <laughs> okay, what do the items say? Bob's favorite screwdriver used to pry open Bob's secret storage spot. It is completely useless for removing screws, but it makes a nice ping noise when tapped up against a metal railing. Ooh, okay. So, that must be the very obvious fake panel, right? That's gotta be what that's for. A military backpacking can carry lots of things, none of which come to your mind at the particular moment. So, let's double back here, and I bet you we can open up the panel with this. I would be very surprised if that does not open up the panel. But we came in from this way, so we gotta go this way now, right? What do we think Let over here? pose another query. If a tree falls in the woods, does it make a sound? Hmm, interesting conundrum. What kind of tree? Fur. Can it talk? Yes, but only after lunchtime. Is it wearing a lot of bells? Some, but not many. Is it in a glass house? Naturally. I have it. It does make a sound, but since it's a tree, it's too stupid to notice. Correct! Well done. Oh boy. Oh boy. What if I get too close to that? No? Can I? No? I'm really short at the looks of it. I mean, they're also very tall, but... <laughs> okay! Well, that's another riddle. Maybe that'll come into play later. <laughs> <Damn it. laughs> Shift schedule, okay. Well, let's just get away from these little corn. <laughs> and keep moving. <laughs> what do we got in here, huh? Looks like soap. Or a fountain. A very golden toilet. So this blocked off the area before, right? Add another item to the folio. I got an etch a sketch! What does this up here say? Oh, I can't reach it! Oh, here we go. Bob, I don't know how you managed to get a copy to the bathroom key, but good god! How many cheeseburgers do you eat, you slob? Cordially, Ted. <laughs> don't know how we're gonna use the etch a sketch at all. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I think we got most of this stuff out here, though. Gosh, I'm starting to sound like the corn. That's something. That's a noise that they would make. Can I touch that down there? No. Etch a sketch. No. Invoice. Yes. This invoice for an extremely extravagant bathroom calls for marble steps leading to two extravagant toilets and a sink encrusted with gold. Cost is in the hundreds of thousands. Ted left it on Bob's toilet seat. Where did all the money for the research go? Oh, I know. Bob. <laughs> a schedule outlining the work shifts of the entire facility staff. Most notable are the shifts of the two founders. They're completely opposite of each other. <laughs> okay, what about the SS sketch? Okay, a major improvement over the Sketcher 2000. This is the Sketcher 3000. As it features the ability to actually draw lines instead of instructing children to stare at the screen and imagine <laughs> the drawing in their minds. You feel like using this to draw a larger face, owing to your fascination with foreheads. What? Okay, maybe we'll draw a face somewhere with this. I'm gonna go back to my fake panel now. And see if I can open up Bob's favorite spot, which I, I don't know where- I mean... I suppose I can keep going this way. There was a big slug that came over here, right? And I never checked that out. Yeah, let's go check that out real quick. Clean jumpsuit. Oh, a cheap jumpsuit. Okay, what is this? Ted! Ted, exciting news! I got us a huge deal on jumpsuits for the facility. Got thousands of them in bulk at a fraction of the price. <laughs> I've already used the savings for some great stuff. Oh, god damn it, Bob! Bob, you idiot! You got a good deal on them because they're completely useless! Nobody can wear them! Cordially, Ted. <laughs> Made out of a material that looks like it will fall apart at the mere thought of a gentle breeze. This jumpsuit should not be worn by anyone. Okay. Let's go in here. What is this? I got a coat rack. Okay. Lots of stuff in here. Anything on this side? No. No. I don't know what's up with all the TVs. It looks like a surveillance room. Got a bunch of clocks here. What does that say? Reserve power mode active. So we're in reserve power mode. Okay. Hmm. Got another item for the folio. And I think the folio is just like fun little bits of story, right? Like, let's see here. Appears to be the report on 
Warfare readiness of subject to Project Maze. Oh god, are they supposed to be like war corn? Whoa! The report states multiple times that sentient corn had no discernible method of raising or operating military firearm and have a habit of taking naps right in the middle of a test. <laughs> the term abject failure also appears all over the document, a running theme among many reports involving the corn. That is true. Hard to make out. This blueprint looks like his instruction. Okay, so we actually saw that already. Interesting. Okay. Hmm. Now what about this? Good for hanging coats, unless it's complete. <laughs> unless it's placed upside down, in which case it's not effective at all. <laughs> okay. That's good to know. We got pizza in here, huh? Well, let's start making progress backwards, huh? Towards the... Ooh, okay. Ooh, we got a thing here. We got a thing here. Another invoice. <laughs> it's the invoice for the jumpsuits. God damn it. <laughs> Mitchell embroidered across the breast and only come in size XXXXL. <laughs> the word defective appears a few times in a very small print. <laughs> okay, so let's keep moving. Again, I think the screwdriver is going to be useful for the, uh, the very fake area. Because we have a ton of items now, right? Like, look at that. Look at how many items we got. I'm going to take the small screwdriver and go to the fake panel on the wall. And I bet you it'll be useful for that. There we go. What do we got inside of here? So we got circuit board of RAM. Hi, Ted. Just a heads up. I put your RAM right here. <laughs> this way it gets less dusty. And now we need to take the RAM and bring it back to whatever room it was that we found Teddy in. This is... No. This is where we found Teddy, I believe. We need to take it to a room where we placed Teddy, which... <sighs> Is somewhere around in here. Look at all this RAM. It has to be at least six, maybe seven bytes of RAM. <laughs> you figure that's the most bytes in any bit of RAM ever. And search for a computer to upgrade with. Knowing not the slightest idea of how to do so properly. Seven bytes of RAM. Wow. That's so much RAM. So much RAM. Okay, so let's come back into here, right? And start putting stuff on things, huh? Hey, I upgraded it. It's been upgraded. It's not your best work. <laughs> oh! I have an upgraded computer now. I gotta see what it says. Employing the angry caveman style of upgrading the computer, you have somehow, against all odds, succeeded in making the computer better. <laughs> and much less aerodynamic. <laughs> okay, well, there goes that. Okay. Now... What the hell else do I add to this pile of crap I got going on here? The backpack? Oh, there we go! What? What are you looking at? Something on Vladdy's face? Why you not talk? Do you understand? Understand <laughs> what Vladdy is saying. <laughs> Butso boy, you're a big idiot. How you survive by being stupid? <sighs> Fine. Bloody help. <sighs> oh. Why guys so many? Huh? Huh? What is this on Vladdy's back? This makes no sense. All of this is very stupid. <laughs> <sighs> so, where we go? <laughs> I don't know, Vladdy. Oh god, he's so cute. You have acquired Vladdy. Prepare to be insulted forever. <laughs> We need you to settle a debate on taking naps. Oh my god, what is that? What is... what is Plant saying? Is that a... It is... It's a helicopter! What? Da? Give me a ride, Mr. Helicopter! No, give me a ride! We can all fit just climbing! <laughs> my lucid drug, what's the way? Boy, grisomnyoi! Chitania Vesela! A rude contraption. What if you're just gonna be like that? Oh, right. We completely forgot. We have a message for you. It's very important. You should hit the showers. What's a shower? I have no idea. Bloody does not like it here. <laughs> a new palace. <laughs> He's so cute. Oh, God. I can't. Okay. Okay. We're going to.
gonna end this episode of Maze here. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Leave a like if you're enjoying this and you want to keep seeing more of Maze. <laughs> and I'll, I'll to promise you I'll do more of this game. <laughs> Thank you guys. You guys are awesome, and I'll see Meow. you in the next video. <laughs>